So let's cut to the chase and go ahead and start solving out these problems. On UIL tests, number one will more than likely be an order of operations problem. And I'll be honest with you, most of these you can put directly into the calculator, it will give you a result. Um, I honestly input that entire thing directly into my TI-83, TI-84 graphing calculator. It gave me 31.6666 repeating. And really from there you just need to know that the .666 repeating is two-thirds. So that is the answer D. Now, a bit of a warning on this. The TI-83, 84 graphing calculators, they know how to use the proper order of operations. Parentheses is something you need to be very careful with. For example, when you're raising a negative to an exponent, you need to make very sure that you put the negative number the base, you put that in parentheses before you raise it to an exponent. Otherwise, we'll get false results. So be very careful. Number two. Brad D. Cruncher needs four calculators for his calculator team. The regular price is $78.90 each. A special summer sale is going on. He can buy the first two at regular price, the third one at 30% off, and the fourth one at 40% off. What will his total be? So, it's a simple percentage problem. I'm going to actually color code this. Let me highlight. He buys the first two calculators uh, at regular price. And that means we have to take 78.90 and multiply that by 2. And he's buying two calculators for that price. The third one is at 30% off the regular price. The trick here is the word off. We are adding some more. When it says 30% off, we're taking the value 78.90. And we're actually doing 100% of that minus 30%, which ends up being 70%, which we can write as 0.7 as a decimal. So be careful when it says the word off. You want to take that number, subtract it from 100, then express it as a decimal. Lastly, it says he buys the fourth one, 40% off. Again, we have the word off, so be very careful. This is 7890 times 0 0.6. 60% is what he's paying, not 40%. It was 40% less than 100%. So if you uh, calculate all this out, you can put that into a graphing calculator. Um, you will get 260.37, and that is E, and that is the correct answer. Three is an interesting problem. I've seen a few of these pop up before in the OIL test. It says 200,304 plus 1,002,030 has how many zeros when written out using digits instead of words? So we do need to take a sum here. So 200,304. You need to write that out in digits. And then you're adding 2030. So we need to go all the way to the thousandth place, put it 2, and then it's 0, and then it's 30. Add those together, take the sum, and you get a 4 here, a 3 here, a 3 here, a 2 here, a 0 here, a 2 here, and a 1. So it really only has a single 0, B. Or is another percentage problem, and it really deals with the word of. When you see the word of, it means multiply. 80% of A is 5 eighths. So let's establish, uh, let me write out a number sentence. Let me write out an equation. It says if 80% of A, so 0.8 of means times, so 0.8 times A, is or equals 5 eighths of B, so 5 eighths times B, then B is what percent of A? So what we want to do is we want to solve now for B in terms of A. So we need to cancel out what's happening around B. Uh, the inverse, or the opposite of multiplying by 5 eighths would be multiplying by the reciprocal, which is 8 fifths. So if you multiply this side also by 8 fifths, 
this right hand side cancels out to B. On the left hand side, if you multiply 8 fifths times 0.8, and I would suggest just doing that in the calculator, um, you do get 1.28. So we end up with 1.28A equals B. We can, of course, rewrite this as B equals 1.28 times A, or 1.28% of A. 1.28 as a percent is 128%, so the answer is C.